Hi there, Chris Kellett with 123 Muse here. Now let's take a look at how we use JotForm. First of all, you need a JotForm account, so go ahead and create one of those. And you'll see once you've signed up, you have this create form. Now if we click on that, we can create a blank form or use a template or import a form. And I really like the fact that you can import a form from a web page. Um, so if you've already got a form out there, you can just go to that page. The system will find the page, find the code and convert it into a form. You then need to move things around and style things, but it's a pretty good service. So let's go ahead and create a form from a template. So I'm gonna type in here, and there's hundreds and hundreds of forms. So I'm gonna type in here, web design. So let's say, for instance, you wanted a web design form for um, customers to be able to create a quote or, or something for a web design quote. So here we have one here. So let's choose this template here, and we'll continue. And you'll notice very quickly that we have our form all created for us and all ready to go. The only thing I'm going to do with this now is I'm going to go into my preferences and I'm going to take a look at where it says responsive form and I'm going to change that to yes and close the settings. Now that will ensure that this reacts responsively. There's a ton of other things that you can do as well. So you could set up email notifications, autoresponders. You can integrate with lots of great different services. For instance, you can publish your forms directly to a Google spreadsheet. Um, send the data to your Dropbox, connect it to MailChimp. There's tons and tons of different things that you can connect to. So I'm just gonna leave it as is for the time being. Um, we can do our thank you page now. What do we want to do? Do we want to um, for the people to just get a thank you message or redirect to a page? So you could create a page um, within Muse, a thank you page, and then set up the redirect in here. So that's great. So now we have that, let's publish it. And when we publish, we get this direct direct link here, and all we want to do is grab this code here. So I'm gonna copy that, so we've got that ready to add to the widget. Now let me show you just a couple more things. Now, um, if you're doing fixed width websites and you wanna choose these themes here, there's a theme designer, and you can take this form here and click on a design, say for instance this one here, and it will generate, turn that form into a beautiful design and then if we save that and go back to our builder we can see that's all set up and then in, in our designer here we can go ahead and modify all those different things so we can change the background image the form layer all sorts of things so we can really create you can create a form to look exactly like yours or your clients website within this system so let's uh, just remove that and let's remove that theme as well and then we're going to um, switch over to Muse and use the widget so we've opened up Muse here and um, if you let's just close these down let's just give ourselves some more space here and I reset that widget back to the original design and now we're going to add it to the page. So if I just go and search for instant job form widget, drag it onto the page and let's just scroll to the top. I don't know why I'm all the way down here on the page. There we go. Okay, and in this widget now, we're just going to open up the options and we're just going to paste that straight into the page. And we can see there's our website design form ready to go for us. So I'm just going to stretch this out a bit. So maybe we'll, uh, we'll make it responsive or we could make it full width. Let's make it full width, in fact. So I'm going to go to my transform and make it stretch the browser width. There we go. So now if we preview this page, we can see our forms all there, ready to go, which is excellent. So we've got this uh, quite complex form all there, ready to be used. Now, here's the magic of using this widget, okay? So if we go back to JotForm, 
I'm just going to go back in here and I'm going to now apply a theme to this. So I'm going to go back to my themes here and let's say we're going to choose, um, let's choose this brick form, this brick wall here and save it. And once we've saved it, we're just going to publish it. There we go. Now watch what happens now. If I preview this now, we can see that form design is all there. What this is showing you is that you can, once you have a form on the page, you can go into job form and change the design, um, all the settings, everything about that form once it's in the page. So this is kind of like a CRM for your forms. So very, very powerful, very simple widget, but with the power of job form and everything you can do with it, um, it creates some amazing possibilities. And if you just take a look at some of these widgets that are built in here, there's hundreds of them in here, but you've got things like responsive, take a photo, uh, image sliders, you've got so much that you can do with these forms. It's just absolutely incredible. So that is the job form widget and um, we've made it free um, because we want you to uh, be able to use forms. And thanks for watching.